How's it going, James Yonder Outdoors? Today, I'm going to try to explain flint napping, or at least the the part that people have the most trouble with, and that's the angles. What angle your platform should be, among other angles. But this is the main one. The angle you strike as well. So, let's get into it. What we have down here is a 120 degree angle. From here to here is 120 degrees. Now why this is important is that is the angle of a Hertzian cone. Now if you don't know what a Hertzian cone is, have you ever seen a piece of glass that's been shot by a BB or hit by a rock? BB or rock comes in at this angle, hits a piece of glass, makes a little bitty hole right here, and takes out a big chunk on the back side. That's a Hertzian cone. Now when we're flint napping, pretty much the same thing happens. Except, you strike at a different, well, how would you say that? Rather than tell you, I'll just show you. Make it a little bit more simple. Okay. Now we have our 20 degree angle. Now if we take this bottom line and draw it parallel to this one. Does that look familiar? That's pretty much a platform. From the top edge and down the platform is somewhere around 120 degrees for a hammerstone. You can use antler or uh, copper, but this works best with hammerstones. You want a little bit more acute angle. But anyway, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, so what I have here is just a piece of cardboard I cut out. It's a 120 degree angle. Now, let's say we want to take, say the bottom of this rock has a hump on it. bottom of this rock has a hump on it and this is our rock from now on <laughs> and we want to cut the hump off actually probably want a little bit more okay now what angle do you hit that platform well, knowing that a Hertzian cone is 120 degrees, all we have to do, and we know that this point right here is a point of impact, it's gotta come in straight, and it takes that 120 degree angle out. Look right here, let up. And here is our Hertzian cone. We have to hit it at that angle. You'll get a ball of percussion and it'll travel down. Sometimes it'll go curve down or curve up or it'll go straight. It just depends on the rock. A lot of factors go into this, but this is the most simple explana explanation. So, I've got a couple of artifacts that has, this is a uh, preform, this is broken during manufacture. This is a real artifact, it's 
who knows how old. But you can see, right here is the platform. I'll take pictures of this. But, here to here, that's 120 degrees. I have another one. How many of y'all made one of these? This has the same angle on it. 120 degrees. <clears throat> and in case you're wondering, Can you guess who made that? My guess is the kid made that when he was learning. Because back then, you started when he was probably seven, eight years old, flint napping. Maybe even younger. This was the, as Noel Grayson puts it, the iPhone of the day. But when I was first starting, uh, when I was first starting flint napping, this is what I made. I made a bunch of them. But this is an artifact. So, what you need to remember is Hertz in cone. Did I say conchoidal fracture? That's what this is called, Con conchoidal fracture. I don't know why. It's like half a Hertz in cone. scientists anyway that's the two words you need to remember and 120 degrees now 120 degrees is not absolute there's a lot more involved and you're not going to learn it by just watching videos you've got to get out and try it like anything else practice only makes you better If you've never hit rock before, <laughs> you're you're in for a hard journey. It really is. It's but it's a fun journey. It's just tough trying to figure out what angles and what a particular rock wants to do. If you want to know how to make a 20 degree angle, all you need is a compass and a ruler don't have a compass handy at the moment but basically what you do you use your ruler you draw a straight line take your compass yeah your compass point and set it at whatever size you want say two two and a half inches and you draw an arc that's going to be off. And you set your compass point here and you draw an arc somewhere and it's going to meet I think it meets right in the center of that. And you set your compass point here and it meets somewhere over here. And you connect these two dots. And that gives you your yeah, that's pretty close. That gives you your 120 degrees. If you did like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And have a nice day. We'll see you.